everybody welcome back i am going to be doing a reptilian snake mani end of summer type of manicure but not end of summer and it's from the plate um, uh, tropical moyu collection plate number one and there's the image that i'm going to be doing right there and so let's get started I'm going to go ahead and put a white coat, a couple of coats of white polish. I already have a base coat. It's a nail strengthener. I have some chips on my nail, so I have to use a nail strengthener instead of my usual base coat. Um, what I'm doing now is layering very thin coats of polish so it'll dry. This is a drying polish, but even drying polishes sometimes just don't dry as quick as they should. So I'm going to let this dry. Okay, so back and it looks like it's pretty dry, putting a lot of pressure on it. I'm gonna go ahead and add one more coat. Don't need it. You just need at least one coat, but I like to just add another coat for good measure. And I am not, I'm sure there's a better way to paint nails. I just, that's pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for this coat to dry and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and it took too long, I feel, for this to dry. I had to melt an ice cube underwater and press firmly on top of the nail um, for it to dry more, more quicker. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the gradient for this mani. And what we're gonna use is some nice mint green and blue. These don't have names. I got them at Sally's Beauty Supply Store. Um, for a similar blue, you can try the Studio M La Care in Lightning Blue. I don't have a similar polish in another, in another brand, so Let's just start. I went the wrong way. Okay, that's all right. We can fix it. So I'll be this way. I need a couple more coats. Actually, it's going to need a lot. I've used, I did this process about at least five times for with thick 
generous coats of polish onto the sponge. And I'm almost out of this color, so <clears throat> as soon as I'm out of the green, I'm going to have to get a bigger bottle on my to-do list. But I think by the time you get the color on the sponge, everything on the nail should be dried enough. So you see this line, it doesn't affect anything. Okay, so I went ahead and cleaned up after I did one coat off, one last coat off camera. I'm just going to top coat it so it'll have a nice finish for the stamp. Okay, I'm going to let this dry. I'll be back. A quick easy tip. I just want to show you guys how I get like a stubborn polish that's not drying. Like my clear coat is not a fast dry by pure ice. And so I have an ice cube. And literally you just place it on there. 
or as much as you can handle. And I'm like pressing down firmly. And the cube, the ice cube takes shape. If you can see like how concave it is. And if you just place it right, it'll just take shape of the nail because it's melting because of the heat from the body temperature will form that shape. So this is a very quick, super fast, and you got to press, you got to have a firm grip. I'm not lightly, I mean, sometimes I'll just like lay it there on top. But when pressing firmly, you will not ruin. It's, it feels very smooth when, when going over. And you can see I'm like trying to smudge it. And I simply can't with good pressure. That right there, you see on my uh, miniature thumbprint, that was from earlier. But from anywhere else, like you can see like there's a little bit happening, but that should dry over the day. The hours of the day should be dry by the time I get to bed. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start stamping. It is still somewhat not fully dry to the touch. I'm not gonna top coat it, so I'm going to just let it dry and then top coat it tonight. I will top coat my other nails, however. So we're gonna do this image right here at, on the edge, if I can pick up the plate. And I think that's very, very beautiful. Kind of a way for you to see that better. There we go. So I'm using Gold Links by Studio M. And this Pure Ice in Studat. Okay, you can't see that. It's a really beautiful, dusty, glittery gold. I just lay it right on top because if you've seen one of my last videos, that glitter does really stamp. The thicker the glitter, it is a little bit weird, awkward, but it's not challenging or difficult at all. Sorry. So because the image looks like it's made for shorter nails than longer nails, um, obviously all of you who have short nails can do this easily with one stamp. I'm going to go ahead and just re just go over this again and that way I can double stamp as one image onto the nail and also it'll help some of you guys. Oh, sorry about that. Um, it'll also help some of you guys to know how you can get a smaller image to stamp onto a longer nail.
not too bad. Alright, so I'm going to clean up and top coat the rest of my nails and I'll be right back. Okay, so here I am back. Final look. I really like how this turned out. <clears throat> it has a lot of detail up close to semi up close and then further back. It gets kind of like a, well, even further back than this, it has more of like a, just a cool foil effect. So I hope you enjoy this video. I really hope you liked my um, nail design. My subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you so much. Thank you for all your guys' visits and I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a lovely weekend.